Good morning and welcome on a wet, rainy Monday morning. My name is Helen Jennings. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator based here in the UK. And um, I normally come in on a Monday morning and a Friday morning live um, to do a bit of crafting with you. And no better day than a wet Monday morning to be finding something nice to play with inside. Um, I hope the um, the audio is okay today. It was a little bit skewiff right at the beginning of the playback last week so we hope that that is okay we have had this morning's glitch sometimes you'll go live and you'll get a sort of sense of doom um, and that happened this morning and then I realized that I was actually going live on my test page and so I was actually just talking to myself um, which is why nobody was responding so we started again and hopefully now we are streaming live to both Facebook and YouTube so if you are here with me do come on and say hello good morning Jackie that's what I like it got to the point I thought nobody has said good morning this is not right um, and that is why because I was um, broadcasting to a test page and the only other person that's it the only person that's in it is me and I'm here so nobody is going to be commenting um, so, good start to the morning. Um, before we start crafting, I do want to do a little bit of uh, um, what's going on in the world of Lovely Ducky announcement. Um, I have spent yesterday, all day yesterday, um, and I've still got a couple more to do today, putting up um, events. Um, over the last couple of months, we seem to have got, or I seem to have got a little bit frozen in time and I haven't got any classes up on my website going forward and nothing for us to look forward to. So I have been very busy over the weekend trying to put that right so that we have things to look forward to. Now, if any of you have taken part in my lily pad stamp clubs before or have heard me talk about them and are interested, um, we haven't got one currently running. So what I have done, I'm going to launch one today. Now, no panic. If you would like to do this Lily Pad Stamp Club, there is no panic because the wonderful thing about them is that I record videos and I post them into an exclusive Facebook group. We do have two live sessions during the course, the four weeks that the Stamp Club runs, but they're not due for another week or so yet. Um, but then that content sits there. So it's not as if it's sort of like get it now and, you, and you're never going to be able to go back to it. So I'm going to launch a new Lily Pad Stamp Club today using the beautiful, beautiful Pansy Petal Suite. Um, so if you would like to join us in that, um, you can either go and find it on my website. Um, I will put a link to my all my classes, so to the page that's where they all sit. So you can go and find them all rather than doing a long list of all the separate classes. But the Lily Pad Stamp Club is going to launch today um, into its little Facebook group. So if you do want to do that, do let me know. Um, and it would be lovely to have you join me. The lovely thing about the Lily Pad Stamp Clubs is that you have two ways of joining. So you can just pay for your membership for the group, which is um, the equivalent of um, £12.50 in um, UK sterling. So whatever that equivalent is, wherever you are in the world. But because I'm not going to be sending you any product or relying on you buying anything from me um, if you're just having the strict membership it really doesn't matter where in the world you would be joining from me from so um, you can come and join us in that group um, there's eight videos that I record that go into that Facebook group plus two lives plus other inspiration and things that we throw in and you're amongst a community of people that are playing with that same suite of products so it's about not just buying it but using it and me giving you lots of inspiration to ensure that you do so do come and join us for that so that is launching today and the next one is also up which is going to be for your peach suite and that will be launching in four weeks time whatever that is something at the beginning of August. I haven't got that list in front of me. Um, also up on the website, you will find um, we're doing a little bit of catch up, but if you're really quick, you can join us. Um, we're having a whole day of technique classes on the 30th of July. 
so you can either join us for the um, adding metallics to your projects class or you can join us for the um, using pastels I've got all things coming up everywhere on my screen just go away I don't know what you are we don't want you thank you so those are both on the 30th July one is going to run via zoom in the morning and one is going to run via zoom in the afternoon so that will be catching up on some things that um, we need to catch up on but I say more people are welcome to join us for those there is also two stamp stack classes up on the website now and there are two celebration in a box classes up on the website now so there's lots and lots of things for you to join in we have a couple of craft and chat sessions up on the website so lots of things coming up so we're feeling as if we're a bit more alive it's been a little bit it's been a little bit um dead here in terms of classes and things and with my stamp stack classes and my celebration in a box classes from August so not the July ones um, but not the July ones that will go out really early in August but um, for my August classes I am going to start to offer some limited in-person class places um, I'm going to do four at a time so if they do fill up and I've got eight people I will look at running it twice um, but I'm not going to have any more than four at any one time initially so if you are local to me and are interested in doing some face-to-face um, -face in person classes then they are going to start to be sneaking in um, from August so I think that's news from here for now um, I think I might sneeze in a minute, so apologies if I do. Um, let's move this camera down and move my mouse mat out of the way. So here's me, www.loveaducky.co.uk, and that's where you'll find all of those details about those classes. But this morning I thought we'd do a little bit different something a little bit different. The product that we're going to be looking at is just a little small product that you find in your catalogue here. Um, these little masks. So it's not a big bundle, it's not a big suite. We're going to have a bit of a play with these masks, which will obviously mean bringing some other things in. But there's two sets of masks in the catalogue currently. There's the basic masks which um, have carried over. And then there's these plenty of patterns masks. Now these are new um, and are really pretty. And that's what we're gonna have a bit of a play with this morning. So let's bring those out. Move this out of the way. We have got four different patterns in these masks. So we've got this sort of um, loopy sort of scale type pattern, really pretty. We have these set of four mandalas. Lovely, isn't it? Really beautiful. We have this one with this sort of little, like they're almost floral, like little flowers on the background there. And then we've got this intriguing one here, which is like stained glass, broken glass. It's just really interesting. Now I have seen the lovely Sarah Sayers, who is a UK demo, had done a card last week. And um, if I'm sitting here with five minutes to myself, I might have a go at one because she used a black pen, outlined these and did sort of um, Zentangle patterns in them. And it was so effective. It was beautiful. Uh, so yeah, so really clever use of that mask. So those are the four masks that we have here let's start with let's start with this mandala one and i thought what i'd do today is i'd sort of concentrate a little bit on um using them with blending brushes and um, i may well come in again on um, 
Friday and do something different. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I thought we would use some blending brushes for this one. So, let's find, got a nice piece of bright pink, polished pink just there. No, that's not quite. No, didn't think it was. Um, going to make it 13.9 by 9.5 mat. Bring in my messy mat. And I think I'm going to go for this mandala just here. With washi tape. And anchor down. want to do Polished pink ink. And let's just bring that over the top. Now, because we are using tone on tone, it's not. Um, very obvious. There it's going. I'm going to bring this in down here as well. Stay. Let's surround it. Right. Not quite got into that corner. Let's lift that up. So we've got a bit of a Mandala going on there. Let's have another one.
remove that washi tape because that's going to stop that down that bottom. <laughs> Should have stuck them all down. What you could do is um, make yourself perhaps a little mask of something that that would sit in front in sit in, so that you've got it all covered around the outside. That would be something to work on. Perhaps a bit of scrap card or something. You've got the square hole in the middle. Beautiful, we have got a bit of edge on that one. Here, bring that in a little bit more. And again, let's move that washi tape. with the idea of uh, something that you could use to surround the outside of those. Again, we've got a bit of a line going on. But there we go. We've got some pretty mandala patterns in the background there. mandala and a black liner pen so you could use the thin end of your stamping light marker you could use a ballpoint pen whatever you happen to have that pattern Let's compound all these center bits Hi Angie. And let's do the circles. I've 
positioned my card a bit wonky so i'm going to leave these i've done one but i shall ignore that but i shall leave the others out for now i'm just going to come around and do the curly whirly bits apologies if you can hear the rain as long as it stays sort of fairly gentle and doesn't become torrential downpour certainly not cold though not here anyway right is that all of it no i've missed those circles just there and missed my little dots that's all of it okay so we've used that to trace up some polished pink some petal pink and some light fresh freesia there and i think we'll have a little color in so light fresh freesia with all of these things you can when you're not sort of trying to pump it out as a vibe you can take a little bit more time with these things i'm going to come in with the darker fresh freesia for the ones with the wavy bit us desperately they will get us on them um, on the phone i don't know about you but our landline doesn't ring very often these days and if it does it tends to come up with international so i ignore it anyway that doesn't mean that i don't welcome calls from people overseas just it tends to mean they're either trying to sell me something or scam me. And I'm not really interested in either of those things.
I've always done this in pencil and you could rub it out afterwards if you didn't want the uh, black outline. One more swirly whirly to do. So pattern masks are just so useful for all sorts of things. So of course you can do lots of other things with them. So say we might come and do some more things on Friday. You can use other mediums through them. You can use them to emboss with. Lots of things. Let's come in and do some polished pink spots actually ignore these dots here as well I might use that the idea of the dots as a placement for something which I might do so I'm going to come back to my black pen and I'm going to just do three more of these teardrops And I think I'll come in with the dark petal pink and just do those teardrops because then I'm going to do a bit of fussy cutting. Let's bring in our snip. took that a bit near to the edge so that's very definitely a do as I say not as I do moment make sure that you've got a bit of a border for that as well I'm just coming into the groove just there and bringing it out Take 
those and they come in here. You're not perfectly lined up yet. We'll um, work on that one in a minute. Now we're just laying them down. It feels a little bit too dark oh I haven't coloured in the middle let's do the little spot in the middle I think I'm going to take the light petal pink Colour in this centerpiece. Now we've cut it out. We've got Outside. Trying to avoid touching the um colour on the side because of course it will blend into each other a little bit. Last but not least. When I was a little girl, I used to love sort of taking a big piece of paper and breaking it up into just random sections. Sort of almost like this, actually, at a slightly smaller scale. And um, colouring them all in different colours rainbow backgrounds and you could definitely do that with that one right I could obviously go back through and add a bit more color but that's quite nice just having that petal pink background in there it just makes it a little less stock 
think we need some black. Let's get some black. as a 10 centimeters by 14.4 mat just sit that on and she goes going in there so I'm just looking at the pattern again they come where those swirls meet here. And the little dots come in here. So we'll sort out little dots in just a minute. Have a little think about what greeting we would like in there. Um, go for something, I think. This is the art gallery set. There's just that little happy birthday in there. Or best wishes. Let's have a best wishes. I'm going to tell it a G block. And I think we'll go for some black ink onto some polished pink card. and we will use that to cover up our boo-boo where we have or where I have taken that to the edge of the card too much so that there's a bit of a do I'm going to swing this round that way I think so that then these are coming in here I'm going to have best wishes that we can have I mean, I think across here. Okay, let's have a bit of a play with some dimensionals and things. So my best, first of all, stick this 
to my black card base. So that's our polished pink card. We used our blending brushes to put some mandalas on the back. Then I'm going to stick down these best wishes. And we'll have it. Mm, no. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of there. Because I need it to go above my boo boo, not below it. Otherwise, it will just highlight it, won't it, rather than hide it. Bring that in. There. Positioning it just so. <laughs> the uh, greeting hides. Let's come in with these drops. I'm going to put those on with some dimensionals. So a little mini dimensional on the back of there. Would have been in the center here. We'll add a black matte dot. Now comes the question do we want that to be? in some black twine to fold that in half Double bow black to come in there. Stick this on the card front first. So, there we've just used our mask for this one in the background. To create that pattern, and then we've drawn round it round it and coloured it in. Mm. 
pick up the glue dot on my bow and I'm going to add that in just there. So there we are. There's one little bright pink bold mandala using a bit of a blending brush but I will have a play with the idea of creating I wonder if they're all the same size you could of course just cut your mask in four if you think you're only ever going to use them as individuals but you might not want to you might want the whole lot so it'd be quite good to work out what size hole you'd want in it and create something that would sit over the top so that's that's a job to be done I think working out the dimensions for that Let's see if I can bring that back for you on Friday. Move these out of the way for a minute, get rid of some rubbish. And then let's bring in whoop, another stray little black dot just there. Let's pop those away so they don't, otherwise they escape all over the place. We get knocked about and we lose them. Okay, so I'll move that card out of the way and put back my pink. For my next card, I'm going to bring in a bit of whisper white to start off with. So let's start with that. As always, I have ideas in my head where they take us something else entirely. It's like a, an adventure. And this is hopefully going to be a bit of an under the sea adventure. I'm going to take some more blending brushes. I'm going to go with the blue and greeny coloured ones. Give them a good rub, make sure there's no colour coming out of them. You can of course wash your blending brushes very easily. You just need to make sure they're dry before you use them again. Right, so I'm going to come in with, not that one, this one. It looks a bit like fish scales, don't you think? Let's have a bit more. Washi tape just to hold it in place initially. I don't really want it covering up too much of my card. And I'm going to bring in these scales and I've sort of lined that up a little bit so you've got sort of equal loop on both sides of the, not that it matters ever such a lot, but hold that down like that now i brought in got some pacific point some bermuda bay and some coastal cabana i love that combination now let's come from here go top down dark down or dark up i think we're going to go lighter at the top coming down to darker at the bottom so i'm going to start with some some coastal cabana and then we come across this top edge with some coastal cabana
swirling it and sorry you're probably swirling as well right so first of all across the top we're going to come in with a specific point on the bottom backwards and forwards and round and round and then let's come in with the Uda Bay across the middle and that will blend in both ways then just don't want to move this mask I do just want to fill in at least some of the colour it's just there and Same on that edge just there. And the other thing I want to do before I move this mask, put the lid on some of these inks first because I'm bound to put my arm in it. Sometimes I come off of lives with strange spots on my arm. I'm going to take a wink of Stella. I don't want to do all of these. I just want to add a bit of sparkle to just a few. Random pieces. It's sort of rainbow fishy. You've read that book. The fish who discovers it wasn't until he gave away his sparkly scales. He lost his scales, but he gained lots of friends. Right, so I've just done a few little sparkly scales. Obviously, you could go in and do a few more. Let's take that off. Isn't that beautiful? We've got sort of like that ombre from Coastal Cabana down through the Bermuda Bay into um, Pacific Point at the bottom. I'm going to rest that to one side a minute because what I do want to do 
before I take that mask to one side is let's see what happens if we spritz it and turn it upside down um, I'll do the kitchen towel. Oh, I've got a bit here actually. See just how much ink was on that stencil. Ooh, so it's only fairly light in the background. I don't know how well you can see that. We've got sort of like a very light honeycomb effect on that background. So I'll put that to one side. So you do need to clean your stencils up when you've finished. For the stamp set I'd dug out to come with this. There's the um, Well done. Let's cut ourselves a specific point on that. Hi, Glenda. We're playing with patterns with the masks. Also got out a little bit of silvery metallic thread because I thought that got a bit of a sea uh, type vibe going on. My favourite layering circles out, shall we? Um, I'll have a scalloped one and a bit of a plain one. So the scalloped one, I'm going to cut out of this blue mat just here before we stick it in place. Obviously, the last time I used my big shot was when we embossed on Friday. So um, I've taken out the number two plate and they couldn't find it. But now we're back in action.
let's just cut ourselves a bit of white. decide on what we're going to stamp on our white. Mm, do we want an octopus? Do we want a turtle? A seahorse? We could have a whale. some fishes and some small bits of seaweed. I think we might go turtle. And I'm going to bring in some daubers because I think we'll have a bit of a two-tone turtle. I'm going to get my specific point dauber. Let's put our turtle on a block. Let's bring in some, we'll go Bermuda Bay. And we'll ink him up with Bermuda Bay and then we'll take the Pacific point and we'll just add in add in some blue and we'll have him swimming across the centre. That's rather sweet, isn't it? Let's take the seaweed and we'll stick with our colour palette. Let's have some coastal cabana. We'll just have that coming around the edge. Let's take some of these fishies and we'll do those in some first and second generation fishies. And then for a greeting, I think we've got to go hoping all your birthday fishes come true, haven't we? It would be rude not to. Blue, you've been running perfectly beautifully this morning. Why have you suddenly decided? Not because there isn't any in it, because there is. Just know that in a minute it's going to blob. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to take some of that glue off and just rub it on the back of there, otherwise it's going to splodge everywhere. a bit more glue to that we'll pop some glue on the back of here I need to be careful because I've got my hole in the back of there There we are, we've got you. Bring this bit around here. Stick that down there. You don't want that too tight. You want it to be a little bit sort of wispy and wavy across the back there. And put him on with some dimensionals. Grandchildren do look like sea creaturey things. Let's have a hoping all your birthday fishes come true. So we've got that little bit of sparkle that's going to pick up. It probably won't be giving the light too much, but we painted in a bit of um, sparkle in the back there. I'm going to put a blue dot. I've got a dimensional on one end. I'm going to put a glue dot on the other. And I can find my little glue dot. There he is. one dear oh dear actually the new basic white the standard basic white is a little bit thicker than the old one used to be which does mean that actually you can get away with it quite nicely for card bases let's put that on the right way around we don't want our total doing loop the loops Opal round to this. They've got a bit of glitter in too. Got that masked background 
bit of a two-tone turtle we added in a bit of glitter with our, in our a few of our Hopefully you can still hear me, even if you can't see um, the other screen. My laptop just died. Um, so you probably didn't notice any difference. I just noticed a black screen. So um, I've just switched my mic on on my phone, which was switched off. So hopefully you can still hear me. Um, just as I say, um, these were our two cards for today. I've buried the other one under a pile of ink pads. So here we go. I have a really nice little message comes up saying, you're in the show. Everyone can see and hear you. So there you go. And those are our two cards today using that um, mandala, those, those patterns, the mandala one and the sort of almost like fish scaly one. Um, and we've used blending brushes for both of them. And then this one, we've done a bit of tracing and colouring in. So they are so useful, the masks, just to have um, in your in your crafty stash. So if you haven't got any masks, then do add those to your shopping basket. And if you haven't got any blending brushes, very definitely add those to your shopping basket. Um, but I hope that you have enjoyed that. Um, I am going to take my phone out because um, I'm really not sure <laughs> if I can just close the um, thing from here. But what I'll do is I will just press leave and um, I will be back and I will see you all um, on Friday. <laughs>